Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Here's a pretty cool little design that you can do a lot with and pretty easy to make. We're just going to get that one out of the way. And I am going to take a polygon and make it a 20-sided polygon. And it doesn't matter really what size you make it. I'm going to hit P, put it at the center of the page. I'm going to take my two-point line. And this is pretty easy. When you go, it'll hit right to the center. And then just, well, let's do this first. Let's make it more evident. Because we have 20, we're going to bring these in a little bit. Then let's take our three-point curve line, go to the center, and just go to one of the points, and then put a little curve to it. Now, if we go and double-click on it, move the center rotation of that node, and make a duplicate and rotate it 18 degrees, it'll get to that other point. Now, you could probably do nine degrees, but you're going to be short. So I'm going to take another two-point line or three-point curve line and go from that node to that longest point. And then you don't have to be in the middle with it. You could do whatever your graphic ability would think would look cool. Now, there's a couple other things we could do, and I left this one long. I left the point. But what we could do, we could take an ellipse and hit P holding down the shift key and to grab it larger. And then that way we're not, when we finish, we're going to have a round item instead. I am going to go ahead and group these all together. Control G so we can move them away later. If we want to, I'm going to take my smart fill tool and I'm going to fill in both sides of that. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to take my first one on the right. And then I'm going to get the interactive fill tool and I'm going to go from that edge inwardly, but I'm going to put black in where that white is. So it gives a little bit of a shadow and I could make it more black or less black depending on what you want. Now you can't really use the attribute eyedropper because it's opposite. So we're going to use the same It's a little bit different because it's not a curve, but it's going to be the same. And after you put the black in, you could actually change it and maybe make it not quite as black. So you kind of get that shadow effect. Now I'm going to go ahead and group these together. I'm going to go ahead and put it to the center, but I'm going to go ahead. And, well, I'm going to use the duplicate key. So I'm just going to rotate it 18 degrees. But I did make a duplicate, so control D and make a duplicate and rotate it 18 degrees. This one isn't going to look as good as that, I've just realized, so I'm going to change it up before I... And always, if you thought you have a duplicate and you do, just take it away. I'm going to go ahead and go and ungroup it back because I just didn't like the look of it. I'm going to grab this left side and get the interactive fill tool again and maybe come off here a little bit. You know what? Maybe, maybe even come in a little, there we go. Come in a little bit. Let's see what the other side needs. I'm going to come in a little bit with it. So that way you kind of get a darker middle. Still doesn't look as good as that, but it kind of does at the bottom. So I'm going to control G to group it, hit the double rotation to get the rotation and then rotate it that 18 degrees. I didn't make a duplicate, but I'm going to control D and now hit zero. It'll go back to its word. And then you just control D all the way around. So now I have a round object. Now the, the advantage kind of to this, we can take our grouped lines out of the way. And then, but you could still add lines. You could right click a black line and have it a black line. You could actually do white. It would really make it stand off, uh, but or you could do a blue. That's what I did on this one. It's just, it's still a little bit darker than the smart field blue, but it's a pretty cool effect. It actually looks like they're folded uh, pieces of paper. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.